Hello everyone, you go from Vape Time TV, and today I want to show you my cloud chasing build. Uh, basically, this one, the setup right now is on the Penny mod, and it's on the Little Boy. Uh, why I like this one, it has deep juice well and a big chuffed up. I will show you how to build it on the Still Air because I didn't want to take this build out of this one. That's basically, it's the same exact build. Comes out at point one by last time I checked it, it was point one one, but it should be anywhere between point zero nine to point one uh two or three okay so basically each coil is supposed to be around four uh, so it's a quad coil i'll show you everything explain what you need to do basically just before we get started and i show you how it chucks this is a very low sub ohm bill so it should not be attempted by people that you know just started doing cloud chasing just starting you know sub home you have to be careful with battery safety yeah make sure you have the good proper battery make sure your battery is charged make sure you don't like you know overeat or vent your battery battery safety safety is always premium make sure you don't have a short uh, i'll show you actually i will show you it happened to me in the building uh i had a short but you know i'll show you a way that you can actually know if you have a short but basically let's shut the fuck up and let's show you how it chucks So even with like a small pool like that, it still makes really good cloud. I really like this build. Let's do a big pool. So really good dense cloud, really, really nice. Now I'm sitting, so it's it's kind of hard to, uh, you know, to do the maximum lung inhale and everything but this build is fantastic i fucking love it there's a cloud chasing contest next week um, at my local vape shop and basically i've been building for a week and a half trying different builds trying different wires to find out what bill i'm gonna be using over there and it's gonna be this setup with this build in it that's for sure so i just wanted to show you how i do it and everything about it be careful safety first let's dive down and let makes this build oh first of all before we do that, before we dive down, just gonna juice it up a little bit and just show you how it fires. That's what I'm talking about right there. Let's dive down and check it out. Materials you're gonna need for this build is gonna be 24 gauge cantle wire. You're gonna need two two millimeter drill bits or screwdriver for your coils. You're gonna need Phillips head screwdriver for your RDA. You're gonna need a three post RDA and an ohm reader. You're gonna need some type of cutters or nail clippers for cutting your leads. Some pliers to pull your wires. For wicking, also I use some tweezers and some scissors. So what you wanna do is wrap your coils. We're gonna need four coils and it's gonna be uh, six full wraps and two half wraps basically. So basically the way I do it is I will put my uh, my first lead like this and then I try to clamp my uh, clamp my or hold my wire tight. It, it, it is actually really rough on the fingers but I don't mind my first wrap. Try to put it here and then I will do six wraps. So one, two, three, four, five, six wrap, and then my seven, which is my half wrap. So basically from the top, when you look at your wire, we'll get eight wraps total. Once I finish my wraps, this the 24 gauge cantle is actually pretty hard to, uh, to wrap. And now doing it on camera is even harder. But I pull my leads like, like so, try to make my whole wrap tighter and push it like this that's why I like this screwdriver it has a big lip on it and I'm able to pull everything and make it secure and really nice and snug so don't be afraid to play with it once it's on the, the drill bit or the screwdriver just to make sure that your wrap is actually really nicely and tight so once that is done I will take my clippers and clip my leads. Have my leads about like three, about three millimeters long. It's easier to install in the RDA like this and make sure they are straight and equal like so. So you're gonna repeat this process four times and you will end up having four coils 
and actually the ones I did off cameras are a little bit better but you're gonna have four coils and when you're gonna look at them, at them from the top like so you will basically have uh, eight wraps because you have six a six full wrap and then the two leads are half wrap so it's gonna be eight um, six seven eight so basically a total of completed wraps is gonna be seven but six full turns that you're doing on it just make sure once you're finished I always do that I make sure that my wraps I count them but I also make sure that all my coils are about the same width all right once you have your coil you're gonna insert your coil on your two two millimeter screwdriver so basically I have two coils on one and two coils on the other uh, and then we're gonna go insert it in the the RDA uh, this is the part where it's actually hard to do on camera so I will do my best a quad coil especially with the three post design is always harder to do but I prefer doing the quad coil on the three post design as compared to like a plume veil which has like two positive post on it uh, it's easier to insert it but I don't know for these ones I do like to do this build for my little boy uh, this is actually the still air deck and the little boy the deck is a little bit uh, deeper here and then also the it has the chuffed up on it the I think this build on the still air is actually gonna be very very hot um, so choosing the right RDA for this job will be good a deep juice well is good and then after that a nice air intake uh, nice air holes on it and then a, a big chuffed up will make it even work better but you know for this purpose I didn't want to take this bill out of my <laughs> my little boy so I'll do it on the still air and we'll see how it vapes after so basically what you want to do is you want to insert your leads into the posts and like I said this is the part where it's gonna be hard to do on camera but want to insert your leads into the post <laughs> I'm gonna struggle for that one it's gonna be a son of a bitch quad coil on camera not fun to do it's already a pain in the ass to do it by myself without being on camera so okay I think I managed it first leads are in good so for the second lead what I like to do by the the other side is I actually like to go and insert them manually with my fingers instead of keeping them on the screwdriver because of the other leads that are already there it's always a little bit harder uh, to insert them when they are on the screwdriver itself so basically I try to do it with my fingers so that way I can position the leads that are on the other side and I can jiggle it without having to worry about having to uh, the screwdriver which is parallel and it's just it's just a little bit easier to insert the other side like so so once that is done that's where I will go and insert my screwdriver again so now I can go straighten up those coils make sure that they're straight on a parallel uh, parallel with the coils that are on the other side sorry if it's a little bit hard to do but you'll see if you're not doing it on camera is actually be gonna be way easier <laughs> okay so now I got my two coils uh, my four coils pretty parallel and now I can jiggy it a little bit I like to get them about flush with the, um, the side of the RDA uh, the lip here so I don't want them too close to the to the middle but still pretty flush so it gives me room to install them and twist them after so basically once they are secured in the position where I'm at I wanna check my middle my middle post there's four wires that are going in there so I wanna go and I hope you guys see well I wanna go and just push the leads make sure the leads are, are pretty parallel inside because it's gonna complicate things so once they are they look okay and my positioning is okay I will hold it like this and then take my other screwdriver and go tighten my negative leads first put my negative my negative leads tight then 
I can move them a little bit more and really go check if my positive leads are going to be nicely positioned. Because I want them to be par parallel in the RDA. So now this one is going to be a problem. So I'll push it like this. And now I'm going to go and screw it in. Sorry if you guys can really not see it well. It's very hard. Now, once this is tied in, I can go check inside my RDA and making sure that those leads are pretty much all parallel to each other in the positive post. So that way I know that the contact for the positive post is going to be good. Once that is done, what I do is I lift up my coils up. I lift my coils up like so. So that way, by lifting the coils up, I clear up the space where the leads are. So that way I can go and clip the leads off easily without having to, uh, you know, to fiddle and, and, and mess with everything or the spacing. And I like to bring down the leads also, like so. So that way I know I can go and put my, uh, my clippers in really easily. Sorry, it's uh, very hard to do on camera. And then you clip all the leads everywhere. So I'll do that off camera. All right, so I clipped all the leads now. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and bring back my coil pretty much sent flush with the, the hole. So make them at the same area where the holes are. Then what I want to do, that's my V-twin design. I want to slip in one of the coils, uh, slip in my screwdriver so it's only in one of the coils. And I want to make sure that I will twist it where the positive, uh, not the positive lead, but the lead that's on top. Okay, so the leads that's going over. So if, it, if I would have wrapped my coils from the other side, it would have been the center, the positive post. But now it's on the negative post, the one that goes over the coil. I want to twist the coil up in that way. And I do this to make like a V, you know, like those motorcycles that have like V-twin engine. I want to do a V when I'm positioning those. Why I want to twist it the way up the, the, the lead that's going over, it's because it's going to actually tighten my coil while I'm twisting it also. So it's going to make sure that my coil is really tight. So that way, the leads that's going on top is this one. So I want to flip it like this. Then I will do it on the other side. I will do this coil here. Now it looks pretty good. I like building it like in V's like that because I, I found out that all the builds that I tried, this V type shape with my coil is very, very good for dissipating the heat and, and it just it just works fantastically and it, it, it burns really good. This is going to come out. My own reader has actually been going a wire recently, but this build is at should be around 0.12 to 0.1 ohms. Now it's reading it at point. See my my normal reading on this one is the first number that appears, so it says 0 0.8, 0 0.9, um, at 0 0.08, 0 0.09, which is like borderline safe. Uh, but I know that this ohm reader is going a wire these days. So just to be safe, what I do is um, I put this build on my uh, on my Sigali 150 watts uh, because basically my ohm reader is going a while. So this one will not fire if it's under 0.1 ohm. Um, and at the same time, it's good to you know check if you don't have a short. If you have a regulated device like this, it will tell you if you have a short. So basically, I'm at 0.1 ohm. 
and while I'm clicking on it there's no it doesn't tell me there's a short or anything so I know I'm good with this right now so once you're making sure that your homage is right and then you'd have no short on your uh, on your build basically uh, I'm gonna ramp it up on the Sigeli ramp up the wattage go in tighten those coils so that they eat up nice and even Fire it up again. Eat up from the middle. Eat up from the middle. Perfect. And all my coils are eating up from the middle out. And they are eating up all at the same time. So I know that this build is good to go. So basically, we're gonna go wicked. Okay, so I let the, 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 the coils cool down a little bit. And then basically I cut four strands or four pieces of Japanese cotton and the way I wig this so first of all what I do is uh, I twist the beginning of my uh, cotton and then basically I go in and I insert it inside my coil then I take my tweezers and until I cannot pull it back then I will do the other same thing twist the beginning of the cotton so it's easier to insert then I put it in take my tweezers and pull it out till it's snug in there that's basically it I leave it like that that's a joke once that is done what I do is I will take those pieces of cotton and then I go shove them at the base of the juice in the juice well basically I want to go pack it up real nice and full of cotton in there then I want to take my top leads of the cotton and go pack it on top and pack it again full same thing I want cotton everywhere on that build so that my coils do not get too hot and there's juice all the time around those coils because these coils they do get hot so I might have to cut this one actually a little bit And I want to pack in also in between the positive and negative post because when I'm going to be dripping, but then basically I'll be dripping from the top. So I want a nice ball of cotton in the middle here. So that way when I drip, this is going to distribute the juice everywhere. And I will do the same thing on the other side. Once my wicking is finished, it should be looking like this. Basically what I like to do is by first of all I'm going to be using blue drake from Mount Baker Vapor that's a max VG a juice and I will go and juice up and saturate the cotton with this juice once it's saturated what I like to do is I like to go and just replace my cotton I, I found out that once the cotton is saturated it's actually way easier to go and and place it the way you want it to be and make it nice and tidy as compared to um, when you're just trying to shove cotton in there um, so I like to do it like that just make sure that my bed and there's not too many too much cotton sticking out and then once that is done, I just make sure that everything is nicely saturated. Here it is, all wicked up, and let's look at it, how it fires up. As you can see, the vapor production is pretty insane. 
it's very 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 and I'm not high right now I'm at only 50 watts and you can see how much vapor this puppy produced so it's an amazingly cool good cloud chasing build let's go vape it so basically I hope you I hope you were able to see everything and then that you know my instructions were clear enough if you do have questions, just go down to the comment section, leave me a comment, I will try to answer all those questions, but this build is very nice. I just built it like you saw on the Still R, but the Still R, the one I have, is basically, doesn't have it chopped off on it. And the vents all are about the same size, a little bit smaller than on the little boy. Uh, so on this one, I tried it just before I finished filming the video on this and it's actually does get pretty hot It's a nice dense but hot vape So if you don't mind that and you don't want to do the maximum pull that you can then you could do it on uh, An RDA that has a small a normal drip tip on it and it has smaller vents hole on it But for me this build on the little boy is perfect chopped up and it has like a little bit bigger vents hole on it so it keeps everything cool in there but it works like a charm let's let's vape it so a lot of dense very nice very flavorful for 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 that you know kind of big cloud kind of build it's it's pretty flavorful right now this is a I changed the juice on the other one was blue drake but this is a max vg from mount baker vapor again and this is uh uh, banana, straw banana, so strawberry and banana taste. It tastes pretty fucking good. Yeah, awesome. I don't know why I'm indoors and it's so windy. Yesterday it was not like that, but it was blowing really nice, straight clouds. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Cheers for watching, and I will be coming up with more. Um, more building tutorials and everything. I, I got some nice wire. It's called the uh, Omega. Yeah, it is called Omega. Uh, it's the Omega Saber Tooth wire, and I got the 24 gauge and the 22 gauge. So I'll do a review on those wires. They're pretty cool. They're kind of expensive. So basically, it's a flat wire, a flat cantle wire with a, a round cantle wire that are twisted and packaged like this. It's a it's a really nice wire. I did some cool builds on it, but for for this. I just, you know, since I was experimenting when I first came out with this, when I first did this build, I didn't want to use all of those because those are, like I said, pretty pricey um, wires, but they do work. I tried it on another build and they do work fantastically well. Maybe next time I'll do the same, same build, but with these wires instead. But this was Hugo from Vape Time TV. I hope you enjoy it. I will see you. It's so foggy in here. I will see you on the next video. Cheers for watching.